Sup guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. Today we look at number 61 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2023. Debo Samuel, wide receiver for the 49ers. I'm thinking last year he was upwards of, you know, 30, maybe in the top 20. So I don't know exactly what's happened, uh, but he has sort of tumbled down the list somewhat. But I mean, it goes, you know, at the end of the day, if you're in the top 100 players in the entire league, uh, you're doing something right. doesn't matter whether you're in the top 20 or the top 60 or 70. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is have a look at his stats, have a look at his production from last year, see exactly why he has, you know, dropped down the list. And then we're going to watch the video, of course, and then we're going to come back and have some fun at the end and place him in a rugby team. If he was to take off the pads and the helmet, you know, where would he, where would he suit on a rugby field? And being that, you know, they, they list him as a wide receiver, but he does take some 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 runs right he, he suits up as a legitimate running back at times and so that is just going to make his transition into the game of rugby uh, that much more seamless you need a diverse skill set and it seems as if this fella has that in spades all right first things first let's look at his stats Taishan Raekwon Debo Samuel born on January the 15th, 1996, he's 27 years of age, 6 foot tall, 215 pounds, went to South Carolina, played college football at South Carolina, got picked up in the 2019 NFL Draft, round number 2, pick number 36, to the 49ers, and he's been there ever since. 19, 20, so he's played 4 years total, and with that in mind, I believe he'd be in line to secure his second bag if he hasn't already. Let's have a look. Ran a 4.48 for the 40 yard dash, 39 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 2 on the broad jump. See, when someone when someone jumps vertically 39 inches, but then horizontally only jumps 10 foot 2, it stands out to me. But at the end of the day, you, you do only get a certain amount of tries. I feel like on a good day, he'd be upwards of, you know, 10 and a half feet at the very least. 15 reps on the bench. Overall, really, really athletic. Played four seasons in the league. Only played 13 games last year. Because in week 14, he had a high ankle sprain, which ruled him out for the remainder of the regular season, but then came back for the postseason, played a significant role. Three games, 211 receiving yards, one touchdown, 34 rushing yards. And that brings his postseason total to nine games from just four seasons. You know, that, that experience, at, at the very least, you know, he hasn't, no, he hasn't won a Super Bowl, but that postseason experience is going to put him in good stead for the future so this is yeah so this is why he has dropped down the list he went from having 1405 receiving yards in 2021 down to 632 bringing his career total to 3230 he went from having 365 rushing yards in 2021 down to 232 so that's not so much of a drop but uh yeah just overall production i mean he was almost at 2000 all-purpose yards in 2021 and he didn't even make a thousand all-purpose yards in 2022 so it's probably got something to do with it during the 2022 offseason which was prior to last year it was reported they requested to be traded however he reported to training camp and ultimately on july 31st signed a three-year 73.5 million dollar contract extension so he was thinking about leaving and somehow some way turned it all around and got paid he's played one of those three years and uh, i guess all we can hope for is that he's had a really really you know, productive off season. He's coming into the 2023 season happy, healthy, ready to ball out on both the receiving and the rushing side. That's enough from me, guys. Let's get into the video. I'd be a dog on that field. Debo lowers his hand. Oh, that is the physical style of Debo Samuel. No, that's what I said. That is a physical style, and just. Just to reiterate, his size, 6 foot 215 pounds. After a couple of meals, it might be 220. So let's call him 6 foot 220. South Carolina guys, do, we, we bring that dog. That's it, I don't think there's too many wide receivers out there that would voluntarily lower their shoulder like that. Hmm, 19. Nobody moves like Devo Samuel. Sure, he's fast and tough to tackle, but what sets him apart is that a defense never knows quite where he'll be. One snap he's in the slot, the next in the backfield. Then, the end zone. 
Yeah, he's a legitimate triple threat. For six. You like, okay, this guy a wide receiver one play. And then as you know, he'll go in the backfield, break for a run. See, okay, so the previous play that we saw him in the backfield, that is a legitimate running back handoff, right? It's not just, like, to see these wide receivers get rushing attempts, yes, to look at their stats, you might think that they, they rush the ball. But really, it's probably going to be somewhat of a jet sweep or, at, you know, at, at most, a, a pitch play. But... But to see Debo Samuel literally line up in the backfield as a running back and take a handoff, that is a legitimate, it's a legitimate dual threat, and that is exciting. For like 70 yards. Debo coming left, finds a crack, turns the corner down the sideline. Go, oh boy. The ground. I'm like, bro, we Great running action. Yet. Like, this dude play every position on the field. He's electric. Like, the guy can, like, make a play. I remember, like... You know, seeing that guy take a screen um, pass, like, you know, almost to the house, like 80 some yards. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Inside, outside. Takes the outside channel. And just puts his foot on the gas pedal. I don't think there's anyone um, that can accelerate faster with the ball in their hands. Just turns on the Holy shit! I think he's the best when the ball's in his hands. By Debo Samuel breaks a tackle 40. Debo 35 30, 25 20. No, he's not gonna. Oh. What? What a play! What a play! He did absolutely Sometimes everything. It looks like he's gonna get tackled for a five-yard long. A bit of ballet, caught the ball up in the air. Bit of a rebound, you could say. Brings it down, bang! Breaks one tackle. He obviously had the corner in mind the whole entire time, but he had to, he had to do some work there. And just as Kyle Jusic said, I mean, I I thought he was a bit biased, being that they are on the same team. But I reckon he might be right. The acceleration oh, is. This turns into a 15-yard game. Crazy. Oh, what are we going to see? Up and couldn't bring him down. You talk about vision and oh, ability. Go! The play looked like it was going nowhere. That is Debo being Debo. Oh, mate, I've got, I got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps because we all know how fast Debo Samuel is, but number 27 for the Seahawks was even faster. Hey, Debo, can you guys score really fast right here? Jet sweep motion. Debo gets the edge, turns the corner. Down the sideline, all the way to the end line. Touchdown! I just completely forgot that McCaffrey played for the 49ers. Bowling ball, bro. <laughs> hey, that boy real bowling ball, bro. Like a bowling ball, he's always ready for a strike. It's his vision. He um, he sees the defense like a running back, um, but he can run like a wide receiver. Combine a sprinter's speed, mm. a discerning eye, and I'm tougher than you attitude. <laughs> You got one. That is one way to score. I mean, he, I, I know he's he's lowered his shoulder over. Like I said at the start, I don't think I don't think there's too many wide receivers that are willing to do that. Oh, he ran over Eddie Jackson. He put his left shoulder down. No, it was Eddie Jackson. That is someone who puts in hits for a living. And um, well, he came off worse for wear, as we can see. He's the A factor, man. He's fun to watch. You think he's fun to watch on the American football field. Well, just think what he could do on a rugby field. Take the helmet off, take the pads off, and let him go. Where would I place Debo Samuel in a rugby team? I'm going to say, look, the easy transition, the classic transition from a wide receiver would be to put, put him on the wing. You know, they're, they're used to being out there. The only major difference is that you've got to catch a backwards pass rather than a forwards pass. And also, if you're getting close to the sideline, you're going to want to stay in rather than just run out. But I feel like he's got too much to offer. I feel like he is too dynamic. He's got too much of a skill set. I'm going to put him in at fullback. I don't think he's got the, the mass to be a solid center. Um, he's too big to be a, a, a number nine. Number 10, no. I'm waiting for a quarterback. I'm waiting for, you know, the best of the quarterbacks to be placed in at number 10 as the real, you know, captain of the ship, you could say. But as far as Debo Samuel, with his skill set, um, with the way that he plays, speed, he's got enough speed, he's got enough size, he's got enough strength, and he has the acceleration to get to a certain point, you know, pretty much instantly. I'm going to say fullback. I'm going to say get him the ball with a bit of space, 
let him assess the field and and just go for it but also be a really really effective support person so if someone does break a tackle um, you know he can see that he can he can he can rush up use his acceleration to the best of his ability get to a point get to the spot and receive you know these these uh, last passes to get past the opposing fullback because that's what fullbacks do they, they they're in the backfield a lot they field kicks they bring the ball back they have to kick themselves on attack because they don't have to stand so far back they're up in the attacking line they are a really integral part of being that support system right so rugby you don't really want to be tackled to the ground because then you've got to let go of the ball so if you can stay on your feet and if you can keep that play alive by finding a support person coming up on the outside or your inside i feel like debo sammy would be that perfect support person as a fullback and i'd love nothing more than to see him strap that 15 on his back and give it a red hot crack all right guys that's enough from me i'll see you in the next one